welcome to Ruth Book Trials, everybody. If you're new to my channel, hi. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be back in a minute with my video. Hi, everybody. I'm here with a book call from Amazon. Sorry it's loud, but my niece is here. My other niece is sleeping. That's, that's Tally that you're hearing. So if you hear a little bit of noise, that's why. Um, the first three I got uh, that I got from and Amazon I picked up yesterday. And the books I picked up was S. S. A. Hunt, which is um, Burn the Dark. And this one says Robin Martin Martin or Martin is on a mission. Bring down witches one vid at a time. Says Robin is a YouTube celebrity who has gone viral with her intensely rich, real, realistic witch hunting series. But even her millions of followers don't know the truth. Her series isn't fiction. Her ultimate goal is to seek revenge against the co coven, covenant that sentenced her mother to a fate worse than death. Returning home to the rural town of Blackfield, Robin meets friends new and old as her quest for ju on her quest to justice, but then a mysterious threat known as the Red Lord interferes with her plans. I love this cover, isn't it? Ooh. I heard um, beautiful bookish Bethany talk about this. Shout out to Bethany, of course. A lot of these books, a lot of these books that I get a lot of times is because I've heard her talk about it. <laughs> so yes, it looks really good. I like the little symbol there. I probably won't read this. I don't know when I'll read this. It sounds like it would be good for like, for like, you know, when, when Halloween comes around again. So probably Halloween, unless I get into mood to read it before then. And then I got some of, like four of these books are, that I got are part of series. I got Supernova. You know, it got a little ruined. I think this was a little ruined. I know one of them was a little ruined. But this one is, of course, like I said, the last one in the Renegade series. So I'm not going to tell you what it's about. I'll just read you. I'll just show you. That just looks like that. That's what it looks like. This is just like this. And then it's blue here. See, none of these I'm going to really be able to tell you much about in case you guys never read the, um, read the first one. I mean, read it yet. But this one is the third one. I'm still reading the second one, so I can't even read what it's about because I don't want to spoil myself. But this one is like, try not to like look at the last, like the bottom. Just try to look at the number so I don't spoil myself. 549 pages, so that's going to be a big baby. And then we, I got this one. This one's a used copy, so it's really banged up. But I still got it through, you know, because of Amazon. I know this has something to do with like a drug or something like that. I can't remember if it was Beautiful Bookish Bethany or somebody else, but it might have been maybe Holly Hart's books. I know someone like that mentioned this in their on their vlog a book thing before so on their youtube channel so this is family is duty magic is power honor is everything jade city by fonda lee it did get a little banged as you guys can see but this was a used copy so sorry it's loud you guys i gotta leave my door open because i don't want i don't want the um you know i want to be able to hear in in there There's a map, but it looks like this. Yeah, I'm kind of, I've been like fighting this cold all day, the sickness, like a bellyache, and like I've been feeling like, like I'm going to be sick and stuff. So I'm just like, not 100%. But this one, it says, Jade is the lifeblood of the island of 
pecan, something like that. It has been minded, a uh, mind traded, stolen, and killed for, and for centuries, honorable green bone warriors like the call, I think, family have used it to enhance their magical abilities and defend the island from foreign invasions. Now the war is over and a new generation of Kells or something like that? Calls? Oh, hello! By the, for control of the Kikan? Kikin? Kikan? Sorry, so that bustling capital city. They care about nothing but protecting their own, cornering the jade market, and defending the district under their protection. Ancient traditions has little place in this rapidly changing nation. When a powerful new drug emerges that lets anyone, even foreigners, wield jade, the simmering tension between the calls and the rival at or something like that, opt. I don't know, it's A-Y-T. Family erupts into open violence. The outcome of this clan war will determine the fate of all green bones for their grandest patriot to the low, low, lowliest motorcycle runner on the street and, and of Kikon itself. It says Jade City in e begins an epic tale a family in honor, the godfather with magic and kung fu, kung fu, yeah, kung fu, kung fu, set in an Asian-inspired fantasy metropolis, poly, poly, how do you say that word, metropolis, so, looks like it's going to be good, it's a nice size book as well, this one is, like, all these books I got are probably, like, almost all of them, but a couple are, like, over 400 pages, this one's almost 500. This one goes to 495. Now the next set I got because there was a sale going on. I don't know by the time it's this when when this video goes up. I don't know if the sale will still be going on because this probably won't go up until Sunday or Tuesday. But there was a sale going on where you buy certain books, and if you buy three, you get one of them for free. So all three of these were in that. So. I got The Night Country by Melissa Albert, which the Hazelwood is the first one. I haven't finished Hazelwood yet, but I was liking what I read of Hazelwood. And I know this has something to do with, like, a story and stuff like this or something like that. I know the aunt, the grandma, or is it the aunt? I can't remember, but she goes missing or something like that. And Alice, I think her name is? Yeah, Alice is, um, like, trying to find her, I believe. And then she meets this boy named Ellery Flinch, Finch, something like that, who helps her, I think. But yeah, look how shiny this is. Like, wow. I love this. Like, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Like, I just love that. I mean, it looks like, it has like a little symbol here. And then there. I don't know if there's a, um, I like the end pages or whatever you want to call that. But there's no map in here. But I am planning on reason, reading the Hazelwood in the next couple months. That's why I wanted this one since it was going, since it was on the cell. One of the books on cell. And then I got the next book in the Children of Blood and Bone, which is Children of Virtue and Vengeance. By, excuse me, by to Tommy. I always forget how you say your last name. Anadiami? I forget how you pronounce her last name. But, um, yeah. I don't know how to explain what the first one's about, but it's a really good book. It was, what is it, Jimmy? What's his name? The night night guy, to me, I forgot his name. But anyways, you know the real popular um, nighttime host guy, um, Jimmy Fallon. I think it is Jimmy Fallon. Is it? Well, anyways, the first book was his pick for like a summer thing, and I, that's when I read it. So it's been a while since I read it. So I'm debating on if I'm going to reread the first one before I read this one. 
But I love the map. You guys know how I am for maps. And look at this. Oh my gosh, I love these. Like this would be so pretty just without the cover. But don't get me wrong, I love the cover because I think this girl, this does not bother me. Usually like girls on the, like pictures, you know, like with the girls on the cover I do not like. But I find her so stunning. Like, look at the details on her face and everything. Like, I just love it. Like, wow. I love that. Then I like how it has the different clans on there. Zeely? Zila? Zeely? How do you say it? Now, this one, I read, the like I said, the first one, so... But I might, like I said, reread it. So I'm not sure yet. Depends, because I kind of want to keep going. I know how, it, I remember how it ended. I just don't remember everything about it. I know there was one part that was really like, wow to me in it. So I remember that part and I remember the ending. But I don't remember a lot of the other parts. But I remember tabbing it up. The put first one. Put uh, uh, put it down. Put it. That's TT's, put it away. And then the last one I got, I still have to read the first book. I started it, but I kept putting it down, but it was good. And that's A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kimmer. Yeah, the first one was A Curse So Dark and Lonely. And I started it, but like I said, I didn't finish it. You want to say hi? Hi. That's Tally. I think you this one. Yeah, that's my girl. Her sister fell asleep. I'm going to have to wake her up pretty soon. Or she's never going to sleep tonight. But yeah. I'm going to wake her up. my phone down. I should go. Are you wake, talking to everybody? Wake her up. Yeah. I should go wake her up. Sorry about that, you guys. She hit something and it stopped the player. But yeah, the last one I got was a this heart so fierce and broken. <laughs> Isn't she cute? That's my girl. That's my tally. That's it. That's it. No, not yet. That's it. So yes. I think I'm gonna This is like a um. Best now. My curse of dark and lonely is a re like a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, with Ren and um. I forget the girl's name. Ren and the old And this I mean, one is with one of the I mean, other characters. I mean, in it. I don't know what she's saying to you guys. So. I don't know a rapper up. Something about picking somebody up. <laughs> You're too I, cute. I should get with her with my dad. Yes. Dad, dad, sure. She's showing you guys and stuff and talking. But yeah. And then this one has like a little crown on it. And then that. But yeah. This one is about one of the other side character, a side character, but a main side character in the first book and someone else. So, yes. And I think Ren and, what is her name? Man, oh, jeez. I can't remember the girl's name. I should or not. I know Gray is, is the one from here. There's Ren. A Harper. That's the girl's name, Harper. And she has, um, I forgot what she has. She has something. I forget what she has wrong with her. With her. Does she have... Cerebral palsy or something? I can't remember. Let me know down below, you guys. Because I can't remember what she has. I know. I think it might be Hello. cerebral palsy. But anyways, this one is about Gray, which is one of the main side characters, like I was saying. And somebody that I haven't met yet. <laughs> in the first one. And first night. That's my haul. And this one, like I said, was by... Three, get one for one of them for free. I know, yeah, so, you yeah. are. And that is all. That's my bid book haul. Six bucks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything else? Yeah. What do you want to say? Come here. You have to sit on my lap and say something. Okay, what do you want to say? Oh. You need your diaper changed. My diaper changed. Yep, she needs her diaper changed, you guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, Ari probably wants to say hi before I go and let you guys go because this girl needs a butt change. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye. 
I hope you guys like this video. Wait a minute, I gotta do my ending. If you guys like this video, please hit subscribe so you'll see another video of mine and hit the bell button so you guys know that it is available for you guys to watch. And if you like the video, thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Okay, now you can push the off button.